So, um, I was thinking um, maybe it could be sexy if uh, you came to stay at mine one time. I love these. It's my friend Laura's birthday on Saturday. I'm doing this brunch thing. I thought maybe you could come. Could do. Just because, you know, you've not really met our friends and we've been seeing each other for, like, how long now? How long what? Have we been together? Yeah, we're not together. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Keswick, don't go psycho on me. Take this off. I'm not, I've told you. I'm very low maintenance. I just thought you might want to stay at mine one time. Can you cook? Sort of. Fine. You make me dinner tomorrow night. It's a day. It's not a day. Oh, whatever it is. Shh, you'll wait, Pete, up. <laughs> You've woken me up. Wasn't me. Shh. Stop talking. I want a Sunday kind of love. I love to last past oh. Saturday night. Hi, Pete. He's gone to work. I'm right, well, um, tell him I'll see him later. Who will? Well, I don't keep track of everyone's names. Meg. Do you, do you not know? OK, well, I'm going to head. Bye. Cheers, mate. How are you, one? I thought you'd gone. Uh, don't come near me, stay away. Uh, what is that? It smells like a dead animal. Oh, Frank. Oh, it's like you, Keswick. <laughs> you might be unwell. I'm going. Oh, thanks for the farting gift. Pete said you'd gone. Did he? Why did he say that? Should we ask him? Pete? Pete, come here. <laughs> Megan Keswick, you... Healthy wench. I know. I went to wake you up last night to tell you about my incredible new job, but you weren't here. I can't help it if I'm irresistible. You keep sexting me. Oh, it's the incredible new job. Incredible. Oh, it's good you got your foot through the door at the theatre, bun. Foot? It's more like whole body. This is my ticket to the top. So have you met Sir Percy yet? Who? Who? Who is Sir Percy MacDonald? He's a volcano of an actor, is what he is, Laura, and it's my mission to befriend him. Right, so when are we meeting this new bloke of yours, Meg? 
Well, he's coming over tonight for dinner and shagging. Dinner? Oh, and Jesus, it's serious. Mike's got a boyfriend. Shut up. He's not my boyfriend. We're just keeping it casual for now. Well, he is. Does he not want to label it? Well, he's not into needy girls, so no. Is he even fit? No, he's really fit. And he also, like, treats me mean. Like, one minute it'll be all, come over, sexy, let's watch Netflix and chill. And then the next minute he'll be, like, not returning my calls. Ah, uh, he's blowing hot and cold. It's very Don Draper, I love it. Hot and cold? Hot bean Netflix? Oh, the bar's so low, Meg. Get rid. I really like the sound of hot and cold and I can't wait to meet him. I even promise not to flirt with him. Thanks. Right, so don't forget me birthday brunch here tomorrow. Gary will be back from Glasgow. And is this hot and cold coming? Yep. But uh, he'll probably already have eaten his breakfast, if you know what I mean. But make sure you're familiar with where the auditorium is for when people ask. I just love the costumes, Diane. So drab. When do I get mine? You get your uniform at the end of this shift. OK. I'm sorry, what's my line again? Show programmes, £10. <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm just warming up my vocal cords. <clears throat> Can you not do that? Oh, sorry. Would you prefer if I use the green room? The green room's just for the actors. Oh, you don't know, do you? I'm actually an actress, Diane. Oh, uh, yeah? Because all top actors sell chalk houses and programmes on the side. I'm just here to make contacts with my acting. It's who you know, Diane, and I. I intend to know Sir Percy MacDonald. Not biblically, because he's gay, but I can't wait to meet him. <clears throat> Show programmes, ten pounds! Now go get the ten pounds. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, sorry, madam, sorry. I've got good news. Are you having that disgusting skin tag removed? What skin tag? I've had a pay rise. All oh, right. You can buy me a nice present then, can't you? What time are you coming tomorrow? Laura, we've been through this. I'm in Glasgow. I can't get back for your birthday. Oh, well, if it's too much hassle, then, you know, don't worry about it. I thought you liked me being away. You were only saying yesterday how you are enjoying your own space. I meant because I don't have to deal with you taking a shit while I'm in the shower. Look, I've still got my laptop. We can do stuff. It'll be sexy. No, it won't be sexy, Gary, because you'll be miles away from your girlfriend on her birthday. You should be here buying me them flowers, what I like. And buying me little presents and hiding them around the flat so I have to find them. Treat me like a princess, like you always do, because you love me so much, you knob. I think I nailed that, actually. Sold nearly all my programmes, a ton of talk ices. I think I'm ready to be promoted. You've only done one shift. Please put it out. I'm not your average employee. No. Oh, my gosh, that's the camera. You said, Percy. Mm. What should I say? Afternoon, Diane. Afternoons, Percy. Didn't recognise you without the wig. Ha! I feel naked without it. <laughs> Do you know, I'm thinking of wearing, wearing it out at the, the weekend. weekend. Oh, Diane, you are a hoot. Twat. Oh, Diane, you're an inspiration. Right, this is going to be easier than I thought. If he talks to you, then he'll definitely talk to me. Tell the worst thing about Gary being a waste. You're worried he'll stray? No. He wants an adjacent of his webcam every night. He calls it cyber spaffing. Just hold out for some real sex. Absence makes a vag grow wider, as they say. Do they? I won't miss him. Not as a person. Just think it's selfish that he chose work. Well, I can still do the birthday brunch without him. He's hot and cold still invited. Yeah, he's still invited, but he won't come. Right, I better get back to the playhouse. Oh, Meg, how romantic. Lucky, hot and cold. Meg, this is freaking me out and I'm not even a book. It's all in hand, Laura. I just want to give hot and cold a taste of what could happen if we did go steady. Disgusting. I oh, thought you put just as much effort into here, you know. Chuff. Shit, I had actually forgotten about that. He's not coming anywhere, so it doesn't matter. Yes, he is. Now, off you both piss, please. Unless you want to witness a whole night of 
Shagging. Oh, my God. Dial. Yes, yes, uh, don't wait up, because um, I'm definitely going to be kicking you about with Sir Percy and Co. after the show until silly o'clock in the morning. I can't wait to tell them that I'm actually um, one of them. And then Percy's going to introduce me to his agent. He'll say, Bunny, allow me to introduce you to my agent. And I'll say, well, thank you, Sir Percy. And then he'll say, no, please do. Bye, Bye. Chalk ice is four pounds. Would anybody like a chalk ice? What are you doing backstage? Oh, Sir Percy! Didn't recognise you without your wig on. What? I'm wearing my wig. Oh, uh, don't wear it on the weekend. What? Chalk ice? No, I'm in the middle of Act One. I've got a surprise you, but shut up. You're in my way. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll tell you later, yeah? What a guy. Gary, it's frozen. Gary, the screen's frozen. Gary! Gary! Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you sure you just prefer to watch? Yeah, it turns me on. Are you sure you see it? No. I'm putting you away. I'm shutting you down. Please, I need treats. Please. Oh, for you. God. I'm exhausted. Oh, God, what a first half. It's a tricky old crowd, isn't it? We'll get there in the end, won't we? Who are you? I'm Bunny. And I know who you are, Percy MacDonald. I loved your Hamlet. It was so raw. So sorry, why are you in here? Oh, I'm an actress, like you. I trained at Yarda. It's the Yorkshire Academy of Dramatics. Yes, 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 but which production are you in? Well, this one, silly. I thought you were just an usher. Yeah, it's just a stopgap. So, the after show party, is it open to all the actors? Because, you know, I was just thinking of stopping by. Leave? Why? There you are. Do I look like your mother? Oh, God, no. My mother's very attractive. You can't just dump merchandise in the hallway. They've all melted. And why aren't you out there? Diane, it is the interval and I needed a rest. Please, Diane, let me give you a hand with these. Oh, no, please, Percy, let me give you a hand. It's Sir uh, Percy, yes? Look, funny. I think you should just go home and come back tomorrow when you've reassessed your priorities. I can't wait tomorrow. I have a birthday. Do you want this job or not? Yes. Yes, I do. Please don't fire me. Please just give me a chance to prove myself. Fine. See you tomorrow. To be or not to be, that is the question. What are you doing? Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and the arrows of contagious fortune. Outrageous fortune. Or to make arms. Take arms, Jesus Christ. Against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep no more, and by a sleep to say that we end the heartache. Jesus, end my fucking heartache. Please, just stop. Just stop. You are the worst actress I have ever seen. And I've worked with Tilda Swinton. <laughs> I think you should just go. What about the party, Diane? Just go. <laughs> oh, hi, it's, it's me again. So, if you do get this and... You have been in a fire, don't worry. Um, but if you haven't been in a fire, then let me know. Okay. Peace out. He's not here, is he? Firstly, I told you so. Secondly, put some clothes on. It might have been an accident or something. Hopefully. 
Mate, if I waited round for every man that told me he'd been in an accident or my grand's died. All right, Gary's grand had died that time, but still. Yeah, well, maybe he's just playing it cool. Maybe he's just not in any way interested. It was him. Oh, well, he forgot, apparently. This is being honest. Meg, like, whatever you do, do Hi. Phone him. No, 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 it was cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, are you OK? Yeah, of course I'll come round. Batteries, yeah? Yeah, OK. OK, bye. False alarm. He twisted his ankle playing football. I thought he forgot. For a minute there, I thought he was going to stand me up. He did. Because if he had stood me up, I would not be going over there. He had. And you are. But he's hurt his ankle. And lucky for him, I am... Desperate. Nice. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Not going to forget your birthday. Like he forgot he did. I know some people abandon their friends when they get a boyfriend. You won't. No. Because he's not your boyfriend. Not officially. Not even unofficially. Not yet. But it might be unofficial soon. Ciao. Hey, did you go shop? How's your ankle? Oh, yeah, yeah, fine. I brought dinner around anyway. Come on, you twat! What time does this finish? It's already over. I recorded it from earlier. Is he going to bed soon? Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, play the table. Get in. Use him. I'm using him. Oh, yeah, you idiot. That's it, that's it. Yes, go on. The uh, team. Go on, man. go on. That's it. Oh, what a waste of space. Oh. So enough for Pete, Meg? Um, yeah. You can get yourself started in my room if you want. We'll show them acting skills. Go get your phone. Is he on to bed? What do you do to him again? Um, hello, yes, it's Bun... Yeah. It's Dr. Bunton here. Yeah, um... Unfortunately, I just need to tell you that Bunny will not be able to come into work tomorrow. Um, I'm afraid that she has... In fact, she's died. What from? Oh, choking, choking. Um, on, it was on a, it was, it was, a, it was a chalk ice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that would melt. Um, sorry, if you just let me finish, it was, actually, it was a... Oh, the truck has wrapper. Wrapper. Yeah, God knows. God knows. Even as I'm saying it, I just can't quite believe it. But, uh, yeah, she wanted me to tell you that she couldn't actually come to work tomorrow. As she was choking, she said that, yeah. Yeah, so, no work for her. All right. All right. <laughs> 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 oh. 
Where did you go? Shower. Were you dreaming about me? Yeah. I mean, nightmares. Touche. You just put some more lipstick on. Maybe. You've done that for me, Keswick. You realise I'm just going to kiss it all off, don't you? Hmm. OK. Uh, you've got it all over your teeth. <laughs> People, do you still say single or what? Look, I told you, labels just complicate things. It is what it is. It is what it is, is what people say when something's a bit shit. Do you think it's a bit shit? No. But... Well, I would like to know. Know what? When are we going to get a mortgage? A lot of girls always do this. Do what? Overthink everything. Well, if you're not happy, don't come round anymore. No one's forcing you to see me. Fine. I won't... I won't come round anymore. If you want to see me, then you have to come to mine. Deal. So, are you still coming to Laura's birthday brunch? When? Now. I can't. Why? I've got a date. Right! Everybody ready? Yep. Yes, that. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday Laura. to me. Happy birthday to me. Laura! Happy birthday to me. No, Laura, don't! Gary, you fucked hard. I'm sorry, Laura, I didn't know I was getting treats. Yeah, well, you were getting treats for being so nice. But you're never getting treats ever again. Yes, Laura. Sorry. Happy birthday. Oh, shut up. You did look fit, though. Ugh. Terribly sad. She was such a wonderful human. Such a dear, dear friend. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thanks, Nick. This is not for you. Oh, my God, they love me. What's going on? I am an amazing actor, is what is going on. OK, I feel a bit bad about it. I may have pulled a cheeky sicky, but they're being really nice to me now. Because they think you're dead. Well, I can't help it if I'm such a convincing performer. We'll probably all have a really big giggle about this later on. Percy's a hoot. Where is he, then? Who, hot and cold? Not coming. Is dating someone else. Who gives a shit? I definitely don't. I've got my mates. It's my best mate's birthday. Let's brunch. Let's party. I just want to dance. There's no music playing. Don't need it. Okay, maybe put some music on. Are you okay, Meg? Yeah, I just want to dance. 
I think we should all dance. Come on! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Oh. Are you sure you're okay, Meg? <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't I be? Mm, you've got tears rolling down your cheeks. I think you might be right, Laura. I think he, he was a bit of a bell end. But who cares? It's cool. I'm cool. So cool. It's cool, okay? It's cool. Yeah. Totally cool. It's so cool. So, so cool. Exactly. Shots. <laughs> Let us take a moment to pay tribute to the sad death of one of our company. I'm sure we all have fond memories of Bunny as a great team player. Let us have a moment's prayer. Drifters is back same time next week and Laura knows a thing or two about keeping her man in check watch her guide at e4.com slash drifters pics and make sure you give Bunny and Megs a look too, wouldn't want to leave them out now talking of Bunny she's popping up over on channel 4 this Sunday, Jay, Will Simon and Neil, they're off down under for the Inbetweeners 2 movie and mine <laughs> 